YouTube channel. This is mommy and this son, and um, we are just about to cook jello fries. And I want to teach the boys how to cook jello fries. This is Nigerian jello fries. So um, these are all the ingredients we're going to be using. And I'm going to introduce my son to you. And this is Olawali, known as OJ. Okay, and um, um. I'm used to calling him OJ. So OJ is going to be telling you some of the ingredients we're going to be using because I'm teaching, I've got three boys, so I'm teaching them how to cook. So, uh, yeah. So, um, can you tell them some of these ingredients? And I can just make it faster by saying some of these ones. Okay, this is pepper. We're going to be cleaning it up. And um, this is, oh, um, this is really spicy. This is hot pepper. This is not as spicy. This is onions. We have the garlic. We have ginger, very healthy, and we have the thyme. Um, Oli Oli, do you want to continue? And the jo the jollof rice, the jollof rice, and the peeled is more like jollof rice seasoning. Yeah. Peeled tom tomatoes in in tomato juice, hot curry powder, and. And chicken cubes, that's what my mom prefers. So this is the pack actually, so in case you want to get it. I prefer the chicken cube. The more tasty. And then um, that's salt to taste. And complete season seasoning. So everything is in there, yeah. And then we have the bay leaf. Yeah, we have the bay leaf spice, so yeah. Um, okay, and um so we are just going to be cleaning and then we have this plantain because we want to make jello fries we always like to eat it with plantain so that is just going to be put aside we're going to be frying that later okay thank you yes yeah, so back to our nigerian jello, jello fries, fries. <laughs> so we have we have actually cleaned the pepper we have um oj can you tell them the ingredient we just finished cleaning now Pepper, onions, spicy pepper, which is small, garlic, and ginger. Well done. So, um, the, so now we have to blend all this. But when we are blending, Uluwale, um, can you think, what? which one do you think will go first and what is the reason? The pepper, because it's the biggest one. Actually, you are wrong. <laughs> This is what goes first, and that is what the tomato. The yes, yeah, it goes first. The reason is because you know, it has um, it is, let me see, look at this. Look, there's a bit of water in there, so it kind of makes it easy when you're blending it. This is softer, do you understand? So it's, 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 like, it's like a base, it's the base that is um. That is watery, so it makes it easy to blend. So I'm going to be using three cans. Can I help with the fingers? Yeah, you can. Okay. And um, this is actually my favorite um, tomato. Is very concentrated, quite thick. You can see the inside. So normally I'm always adding water and then just to wash it off. Let me help. Let me help. Okay. So we'll just clean our mess in a bit. Okay. So this I'm gonna put some of this in here. Like a super warm mother. I'm gonna be blending this like twice. This is a lot of spice because my kids like it, they like it spicy. So I'm putting three now, and then I'm putting two of this, putting some of this. So we're gonna be blending it now. That's all. That is all. This is what we actually blend for jello fries. This are everything is in here. Everything here is there, including this peeled tomatoes. So we'll be blending now. Yeah, this is my fault. 
as you can see, I just finished cleaning it, so it's still wet. So what I do is I turn the light on. Okay, I put it in here for a while to get it dry. Ready. I, this is one of my favorite toys. So I used to get it from Costco. Only bad oil. Smells light in color. I'm turning this. This look done now, so I'm gonna leave it for a while. I'm putting it on the low side of it. And when you're cooking, always try to make sure that you're cleaning at the same time. We made a little mess here. So at the same time, I'm cleaning to make sure everything is fine. And we got some little thing on the floor, so I'm cleaning that up as well. And my son is gonna throw that in the bin. Okay. Remember I said I'm going to put some water in here just to make sure I don't waste anything. Because <laughs> notwithstanding, you will always need water when you're cooking. So this is my way of getting my own water and still making use of my tomatoes. Seriously? You can see, this is just three can. You can see how thick it is. I just don't want to waste it. Just strain it in a bit. See, that looks quite thick. Okay, so um, I'll turn this off now. Let's see, the pot come this way. You see, that is drying up now, really drying up. You see? So now I'm going to be pouring the oil there. I'm taking the cap off. My measurements is I don't actually measure when I'm cooking because I'm, I'm used to doing this so I can I know when it's too much or something you know and um, right now I think my oil is fine because I'm gonna be pouring two of that in there so yeah so that's I need to wait for a little while for this oil to be a bit hot. This is just a little um, tomatoes here. If you pour it here, you will see that it's not hot enough. See? Move closer. It's not hot enough because it's not making any sound. You know, just spiking. <laughs> so it's not actually making any sound. So it's, it needs to be a bit hotter. Lovely sound when I clean it. Okay, so I'm turning this off now. That is my blended pepper. You can have a look now. That's my blended pepper. That is all this ingredient I showed you. The onions, the pepper, big pepper, the small pepper, which is the spicy one, the ginger and the garlic in there. And then we have the plum tomato. That is all the ingredient that is in here. And now we are going to be pouring it inside the hot oil. So yeah, I'm going to be doing another blending, making two of this. So now, okay. You want to try to open this? I know it can be a bit challenging, but 
you don't try and move them as fast. <laughs> oh, well done. That is good. <laughs> well done, son. I didn't know you'd be able to get that. I'm mean, trying to get one more plum to my throat. Lovely. That's fine. That's fine. That's lovely. And then, you know, this is the worship one, so you can put that. You can put that. No, no, no. Just mix it with this one. So we can just wash the can there. Careful. Okay, so let's make a mess because we are cooking. Okay, so I'm just going to be pointing that. Okay, and then this is the what you want I told you. Just using it to clean the can. Okay, so do you want to put some more water here? Some water? Okay, lovely. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting the big pepper and the spicy one. So, yeah, please, can you not help us? Thank you. Because I'm not sure you cleaned your hands, so I have to rinse it again. And this is my onions. I actually cut my onions into pieces, like a big one. I cut it into um, four, four different parts, just to make it easy when I'm blending it. Okay, so I'm putting that in there. This is my. Put it in, knife. Thank you, son. Um, this is quite big. I just want it to be small. Um, okay, and then ginger, ginger and garlic in here, okay, and I don't think there's a space for this onions now, so I'm just going to cover it now, and we start with the blending again, and when you're cooking, please do not forget to turn the extract of fun, extract of fun from it. Because if not, it's going to be spreading, spreading everywhere. So, and now I'm going to. get rid of all the pepper rather than washing all this away to waste it so that's what I'm just trying to do here just okay so this is the pepper you can move a bit closer please and um, I'm gonna be leaving this for a while but before leaving it so now this is the main thing before leaving it I um, will be putting the ingredients this is my curry, so I'm just going to pull a 
bit of curry. Um, so people use spoon, but I use this for my measurements. I just put a little, and then looking at that, it's a bit, it's a lot. So I just let me get this. Up. It's a lot. So I'm just gonna like. It depends on how you want it, but this is not. It's just some um, curry, just to like season to give it a nice smell. And it had to a bit to the taste of it. So okay, I'm just gonna put the curry now. That's the curry. The time, most of the time I don't like putting time in it. I like time quite alright, but my kids um they are always like, you know, when they sit in inside, they are always like, Mom was this, I say this. <laughs> something else but it just it's lovely it makes it have this lovely aroma smell nice smell so i'm just gonna put it in there so that is a bit of my time in there okay yeah. and like i said i have my jello fry season so i'm not gonna put this yet because like i said i'm gonna take some of this pepper for my stew at home so this is gonna be like when i put my rice in it so my favorite maggie. is maggie maggie we all have different quantity that we use but me i kind of use quite a lot of maggie uh, let's see this is i've got like okay you know what? I'm always saying Maggie. Maggie's the <laughs> when I was young we used to use Maggie. Young. This is not not chicken cube. So this is not not, not not chicken cube. Okay, so I'm using like um this is this is straw, so I'm using all the straw. This is just to help to bring the um, the taste. Can you please move it a bit closer? Yeah, this is just, this helps with the taste. So yeah, so I put this in. When it's almost done, I just try to taste it, and if it's not, if it's not tasty enough, then I can put a little salt. I don't normally use salt actually. Uh, salt is too sharp for me. <laughs> so I love this. Um, no, it just uh, just give me that lovely taste that I love to have. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a little salt. Salt to taste as little, and all these ingredients will be going back to the cupboard here. Because they are all in use. And I'm just going to leave my salt just in case. I brought this out just to show you the part of the milk that I normally use. You can get it anyway. Any shop where they sell ingredients. This is my belly. Normally, uh, we use this when I always try to make sure I wash it because I've not washed it yet. like cleaning all these things because you never can tell anything any of those bugs can be hiding in there okay and then I put one more water here and then I put it in okay so I'm just gonna leave so these are all the ingredients that I used to put in my jello fries and now I'm gonna cover it up for a while
mixing the pepper rather. So when you see oil on the surface of it like this, it means it is ready, it's well cooked. You know, the pepper has to be well cooked. In the rice now. Turning the rice right now. So we are having fun dancing and cooking. <laughs> so yeah.
Okay, I don't want to put too much because it's quite strong. So, and that's it really. And we're just going to leave it for some time to cook. Move it closer and let people see how it looks. So there's a bit of oil on the surface. Now I'm leaving it for a while. And um, like I told you, when you're cooking, always try to make sure you leave the kitchen like nothing was done in the kitchen. So I always do this. Put this in the color of my jello fries is more is not like it's not reddish enough so i just so but what i'm saying there is really concentrated so i might not need much so this is um tin tomato um we call it derika so when you go to the shop there you'll see it is derika um i'll check if i have um the tin of it so i can be able to show you so in you can be able to add it. This is just, it just helps with the color, makes it um, have that color of the jello fries really red. So I'm putting some There's um, tomatoes actually. Ah, what is it? So, it's tomato concentrated tomatoes just in the jello fries just to make it like have that reddish jello fries color. Um, you
Nigerian jello fries. I think there's Ghana, there's different people's jello fries. But this is Nigerian jello fries. Okay. So we'll be back later. Bye. So we. That's all. Like some people used to mix it and put some salt. And I don't do that. I used to do that when I was young, but now I don't do that anymore. I try to reduce my salt intake as much as possible. Tell the reason. We need music in the house, please. This is really very nice. Plantain. Plantain, you can use it to eat stew. Like the stew I made there. Plant. You can use it with egg, jello fries. I mean, a lot of people like it. Surprisingly, I think it's just one of my kids, the last baby of the house. That's the only person that actually eats it. Wow. So this one is just going to be me, daddy, and um, my last baby, Toye. Okay, now we're going to be looking at the jello fries now. This is, I'll put some more light in there. Let's see, so this is the jello fries. Can you let them see well? 
This is the jollof rice. This is Nigerian's favorite food. You can't go to any Nigerian party and you will not see this. If you don't see this jollof, I don't. There's no Nigerian party that you go to and you will not see this jollof rice. This is the concentrated um, tomatoes, um, the rica that I put in there. So I'm now going to mix it. With the, So jello fries is almost ready. I always have to have a little to just taste to see if it's soft enough. Mm. Um, it needs a little bit of. Let's see. I need to leave it for a little bit more. Actually ready, so I'm just going to put it aside. Now, let's look at the jello fries now. Jollof rice is ready. Woohoo! Ah, that's gonna be delicious! <laughs> I can see why you're big. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm just yeah, mixing it to make sure all the ingredients are in. Actually, it's, it's well mixed and it's looking yummy. That shall not touch. I've got boys, they can be very naughty. Okay. And I'm going to dish it now. Hello. The jello fries is ready. Some people are enjoying it right now. That's the plantain and the chicken and the sauce at the, at the side of it. And um, the chef is... Hello, Wale. Like and subscribe, people. <laughs> Thank you. Um.